Discord is working on a new secret UI for their mobile app, also known as Tabs V2, and I'm going to show you how to get it on your device right now. Now, keep in mind, I was lying to you when I said it was new. I'm actually a little late to the punch. In fact, one of my cute little viewers sent me a video suggestion talking about the UI, and I shamelessly stole their video title, and this was back in April 20. But the way to enable this new UI, of course, you need to go on your cellular device. So I'm starting a screen recording. Things are about to get hairy. Now, unlocking this new UI is like finishing a Call of Duty Zombies Easter egg. You need to just go to any channel. Now, I don't want to talk on my main server or else I'm going to be blown up. But you go on any server and you need to send in the sparkles emoji. So just search for sparkles and it needs to be this one right here. And when you click on enter, well, you still got to do a little bit more. It's a Call of Duty Easter egg, for goodness sake. Press on the emoji and it'll pop up with this little menu and you want to press and hold on this specific icon here and after a little bit of fooling around you should get the new UI now before I go any further I do want to say that this is an alpha feature and discord is actively working on it as we speak so if there are any issues they are trying their best to iron them out but there's a lot more that discord talks about a little bit later in the video but first I just want to give this thing a shot right I got to take it through the gauntlet of my life on discord which is basically 24 7 so the first thing with this new UI is that I really need to see what's new with all my e-girl kittens. So I'm going to go to a Discord server. I'm going to go to my Discord server here. And as you can see, the UI looks pretty nice. But there's one very big glaring issue with the uh, the server list, which I'll get into a little bit later. But I want to send a message to my e-girls. So I'm going to go to the general chat. And perfect, we have this message here, I like men. And I'm just going to respond to it saying, hey yo cutie pie, e-girl. And that was pretty easy. Now, you might have noticed I did something a little fancy because I did use this UI once, but instead of having to press on the person's name and then press reply and all that bogus stuff, I just went full WhatsApp mode and I just did a little bit of a swipe to reply. The way that it works on the old Discord app is that when you swipe to the right, you look at your member list. And that's actually something I wanna figure out. Are my staff doing something on my Discord server? And, uh, well, I don't really know where to look. Now, back in the old UI, there would be something on the top right where you can press on, but in this case, yeah, okay, I'm already lost. <laughs> How do I see who's on this, uh, on the channel? Do I click on general? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm trying to press on these media, gifts, files, and links buttons. It's not happening. There we go. Now it's working. A little buggy. <laughs> but it is nifty. You can see media, gifts, files. Hopefully I don't have to censor anything. And links. But that's pretty nifty. So I've done a little bit of server management. And I think now it's time to get off my cesspool of a Discord server and go on to something a little more formal. Perhaps the Beluga server. That honestly wasn't too difficult to switch between the servers, but let's get into the big glaring issue. Here's the thing. On my normal Discord app, uh, I have all these servers in folders, and I'm also in a hundred Discord servers. And as you can see, um, this is kind of problematic. Where did my folders go? In fact, if I swipe up, I do get a nice list, but there's no folders, even though every single one of these should be in a folder. Well, almost every single one of these. 12 seconds later. Oh, they show up at the top? What's the point? This is kind of pointless. I'm not a huge fan, if I'm going to be honest. I think this is this is honestly my main gripe with the update is the fact that server folders are just kind of a mess. Now, you can do a grid view, which is, let's just pretend that never happened. Go back to a list view. Now, back on the Beluga server, it looks like all my e-girls are deciding to chit-chat with me. And as you can see, there's nice normal ping notifications. But I'm not one of those people that go through my server list. Instead, I just click on notifications. Really, not much has changed for me, at least, in my workflow. But let's say I'm trying to join a voice call because for some reason I want to join a voice call. Well, I, I just click on join and join voice and it's exactly like Discord. Goodbye before everyone joins me and the video gets derailed. Now, one thing I do really want to point out is the fact that Discord has these emojis next to your channels. And I actually really, really, really like this because as you see in my Discord server right now, every single one of my channels, well, most of the channels that people visit has a little icon next to it. And that's because I hate reading. I can barely read myself. I like looking at little pictures and saying, yes, that is the general channel. But there is one 
one thing that is maybe not the best about this update is that you can't actually change these icons. If I press and hold on it, I can edit channel, but as you can see, there's no like icon thing I can press. And it's because these specific icons are actually picked by some sort of AI. So specifically for my server, it looks really dumb because now you have like duplicate emojis for media. It just doesn't make sense. So overall for me, to be completely honest, the only thing I really don't like about this update is that this server menu list is honestly kind of really bad. I'm not a fan of it. I hate how my folders just magically disappear. Now, of course, like with any new Discord feature, the second something is different, people get upset and they go to r slash Discord app. And sometimes this is completely justified and sometimes it's just people inhaling copium. But in this case, there are people that do have bits of valid criticism. Not this one, though. This person's just complaining about how it sucks and they actually don't explain why, which is extremely helpful for anyone that's actually trying to make this UI better. But this person here is upset the fact that when you swipe, you can reply to people. But it still shows that people aren't a fan of this new UI, and I do have good news coming up for you, but I still want to continue on some of the grievances that other people have. For example, this Reddit user here says that a lot of these new kind of inputs and stuff, it just adds delays to their various workflows, and it makes them a lot slower. Basically, all their built-in muscle memory of checking Discord is now slower and more cumbersome. And then they continue on with graphic design qualms, and if you look at my uh, my YouTube thumbnails, you know graphic design is not something I'm good at. <laughs> Except when I do it really well, and I realize it took me three hours to make one thumbnail. Now, there are people that are upset about the new update because it's completely laggy, and like I said before, this is an alpha feature, and Discord is working on their animations and performance to make it a lot more smoother. So there is something to look forward to. God, now I sound like a Discord fanboy. <laughs> And this person here also hates the new kind of complicated UI, and they really just wish that this better be an optional thing. Boy, do I have some good news for you. This is from Discord staff themselves. We think it's great that you're checking it out. After you enable this, you can always turn it off again under appearance. And I'm going to show you how to do that because it is honestly surprisingly very easy. You go down to your user profile at the bottom right, you press on it, you'll be looking at your profile. You need to scroll down and just go to appearance. Then you can uncheck show new layout out and you will go back to the good old normal layout. But since we're here, I want to show you a really cool Easter egg. Press on the dark theme mode a whole bunch of times and you keep tapping on it. It'll turn your Discord onto AMOLED mode, aka it's just really dark, dark theme. And of course, you might think that this is only going to be a thing when they're going through all the alpha. And once they figure out the new UI, they're going to force you to use it. Well, no, you'll have the option to opt out for the foreseeable future. And Discord actually really cares about making this user experience work for everyone. So if you're one of these people that don't like the new change, well, you can stick with the old Discord. If you like this new UI, which honestly, if they change the server folder thing so it's less awful for me with a whole bunch of Discord servers, screw it. I'm going to use it. Now, the good news keeps on coming because here's the thing. There's one Discord feature that I absolutely love. Surprising, right? Especially from someone like me, but it's Discord's favorites tab. Now, keep in mind, this is an experimental feature. It's also in super duper alpha, but what it allows you to do is basically favorite certain channels and DMs so you can see it all in one very convenient place. But we're talking about the mobile UI. So back on my cellular device, as you can see, I got a message from this wonderful user XXX to me xxx and if you press and hold on it you can press favorite so now you can favorite dms but it doesn't stop there in fact you can go to a discord server my favorite is the beluga discord server press and hold on a channel and you can see this add to messages button which i'm going to press on and if i go to my messages uh it's not there. For some reason, this feature is a little bit buggy. And one thing to note is that it actually does show up in your favorites tab on your desktop. So it does sync, which is nice. I'm glad that functionality is there. But like I said, it can be buggy. If I actually just add a general channel and I click add to messages and I go back to my messages, it will show up. And also, since I forgot to say this, if you go to your appearance in your settings, you actually have different types of layouts you can use. I've been using compact for the whole video, but there's also cozy. So if I go to my server, as you can see, this is how channels will look if you use Cozy. And if that's still not big enough for you, maybe, you know, the hot grandmas that are on Discord, you can click on Comfy and channels will look like this. So there is some customization. And of course, I picked the hardest one to see on the planet for this video. Forgive me. <laughs> but anyways, that is Discord's new Fancy Dancy Tabs V2 UI. As you can tell, there are some problems with it. But at the end of the day, 
If you don't like it, it's not hard to go to your appearance settings and just turn off the new layout and you're right back to your old Discord layout that is nice and easy for you to remember because you're a boomer that hates change. I'm just kidding. But there is one issue with this. Of course, whenever Discord makes a new feature, they will have to make it work for both the old UI and the new UI, so it might cause a little bit of problems in the future with things taking a little bit longer to come to mobile. But that's all I got, sweetheart. Love you very much. Have a good day and have fun using Tabs V2 if you want to use it. Bye-bye.